All right, so here we have it. Echo CS590. And this one is one of those store returns bought from a second or third party reseller. Looking at it, it all looks great. It even came in the original box. But once I got it out, looking at it a little bit closer, looks like at some point they put all new plastics on. This tank's been used. Recoil looks good. But you can see the case. The case has been used. So I don't know what, where, why, how. But this saw has some use. The case has definitely seen lots of use. But we're going to fire it up, get some baseline runs. And then Matt R, I'll put a link in the description. He makes these outlets for a nice, easy bolt-on muffler mod. So we'll get baseline runs. We'll bolt this outlet on with an extra hole underneath. Then he also makes these timing keys. So you can do an advance. Now everybody knows about the Echo CS620. That's the high performance version of these. That one comes with a larger carburetor, a hotter coil, and a little bit better port timing. And a couple other things, but those are the main performance things. So that coil, it comes with more advanced built in. That's where these timing keys come in handy. Pop the flywheel off, put the key in, index it, bolt the flywheel back down, and it's got your six or eight degrees built right in. So I got this one all fueled up, so I'm going to make sure it fires up. I haven't checked it. Just showed up a little while ago. But you can see there's definitely some use on the bottom end. No bar plate. So it's one of those things, you really got to watch out for that stuff with those resellers. Well, at least this one fires up, so that's a good sign. I said, maybe there's not a ton of time on the bottom end. But just looking at the front of the case and the spikes, it's definitely not brand new. I'm going to guess the cylinder is the same as that. So for whatever reason, they just put all new cosmetics on it to sell it for half the price of new. Even the tank says May of 2021, so it's not a super old saw. But either way, we'll get it bolted on the dyno, get some baseline runs. Then we'll go ahead and put the muffler outlet on and the advanced key. done a little bit now after those runs still a little warm not too bad while it's off let's take a look at the piston that's what I wondered That explains why it was smoking so bad when we first started it up. This one scored up pretty good. So they put a bunch of oil in it to make it feel like it had compression. Get it started up. Let me see if I can get you to see it. Yeah, right there. Scored up pretty darn good. That's a bummer, but that's the gamble you take buying these ultra cheap. Like I said, fired right up, ran good, but that's not going to last super long with it like that. So we'll have to get that addressed. And it'll probably actually make a touch better power without being all scored up. 
But that's all part of it, dealing with these used saws, even though they're supposed to be new. I questioned it when I seen the used case. So if somebody knew something was wrong along the way. But that's how it goes. Alright, well that really stinks. I was hoping to use this saw, like I said earlier, to test this, uh, to test the muffler deflector. It's just a bolt-on piece. We're going to do the muffler mod and test it. But it's not really worth testing with this one scored up like it is. You can see this one had the old bait and switch done to it. So wherever, however, whatever it came from. So wherever this one came from, they obviously had more new ones. Put this junky one together and returned it. Now I don't know. This one came from a store return probably. Third party, fourth party maybe. Reseller. So who knows. Maybe when they bought it from the store, whoever it was, bought another one. Put their burn up one in there. Put all new pieces on it. That way they could return it and get a brand new engine. I don't know. But this one showed up in a box with a bar and chain everything, just like it came off the shelf. So if you just peek open, look in your box, oh yeah, look, I got a new saw. But you really need to take your time if you're buying some of these super cheap ones off of Facebook or wherever. Take it over. Take your T27, pull the muffler off of it, and that would have saved this fella some money and time. But I do. I've got a used 620 cylinder we'll put on it. I realize that's going to throw the numbers off a little bit. But that's what we have. That's what we're going to have to work with. That's what we're going to do. So I'll get this 620 cylinder put on. Probably no gasket. Run it again with the stock muffler. Then we'll take the deflector off. We'll bolt on this deflector after we open it up a little bit. And see what we get from just the muffler mod. It'll be out of that 620 cylinder and piston. But I just want to share this with everybody. I don't want to see other people get burnt by these things. Like I said, did you look at this saw from the outside? Looks brand new. You start looking at it deeper, you can see that it's been used. And obviously, it was used a little too much the wrong direction. But that's going to be super common with these saws that you can get from the box store like that. The box stores don't care. They'll throw all the returns, sell them third party, and they get what they get out of it. But I just, like I said, it's frustrating when people get burnt like that. Don't want to see anybody missing out. So you definitely, buyer beware when the price seems too good to be true for a brand new in the box saw. You can see even with that little bit of scoring... It still put out stock like power. 4.2 horse, 3.15 foot pounds. So that power is pretty much stock. So, but that's all. Like I said, that's where we'll stop this one. I'll get the cylinder swapped over. We'll make some baseline runs with 620 cylinder. And then we'll mod the muffler. But. I said, just kind of frustrated with that one, but it is what it is. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody.